Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed look at the 2014 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Edition 507. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth view of the C63 507. We'll start up so the engine, get an exhaust clipping over the performance data, as we'll show you much of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. Now I'd like to extend a big shout out and special thanks to Mercedes-Benz of South Charlotte located in Pineville, North Carolina for allowing me to come out and film the 2014 Mercedes C63 AMG Coupe Edition 507. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. Now the C63 does come standard with an integrated remote smart key access system. All you have to do is just keep the key fob in your pocket and locate the touch sensors on both the door handles to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock, just tap the little depressed portion on each handle. And then to unlock, just grab the handle, there's a touch sensor behind the handle. That automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is known as polar white featuring a full AMG-specific black leather interior with carbon fiber accenting and Alcantara trim across the steering wheel as well as the shift knob. And along with that smart key system, the vehicle also has a remote push button ignition. All I have to do is just depress the brake and hit the aluminum accented button to start. Beautiful muscular sound. Now the C63 AMG features specifically tuned speed proportional electromechanical rack and pinion power steering in this unique AMG specific 3 spoke Alcantara and aluminum accented steering wheel. There's a small leather band accenting the top, heavy bolsters up top, as well as down below, whereas the top and bottom of the wheels actually flatten out a bit, giving a little bit more of a race inspired feel. The polished aluminum highlights the airbag cover as well as your multifunction controls side to side. Now as far as the gearbox, the standard and only transmission for the Edition 507 is AMG's 7-speed speed, speed shift and automated manual gearbox. Once you put it into drive, you can also shift the vehicle manually, either down below or via the aluminum paddle shifters mounted on the back of the steering wheel. Taking a look to the left-hand side of the gearbox is your transmission shift controller consisting of controlled efficiency for the most relaxed driving mode, Sport raising the shift points as well as Sport Plus increasing the gear changes by 30%. Manual mode gives 100 millisecond shifts with active rev matching downshifts. Once you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera automatically appears in your LCD display. Beautifully accented in the Mercedes Dynamica faux suede trim with color accent stitching as well as aluminum up front with the unique AMG tag up top. And so we're going to flip on the automatic projector headlamps, rear fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Naturally, both the windows are fully automatic. And we're gonna check out the exterior, shall we? The vehicle also chime a few times on the inside, letting you know it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. The team of engineers and designers over at AMG are known for their wild creations. 
always pushing the bar to develop something different, unique, and powerful. This is especially true with the newest C63 AMG Coupe. For 2012, an all-new model debuts known as the Edition 507. It's available as both a sedan and a coupe, while Europe also gets an estate wagon to choose from. Positioned between the standard C63 and the C63 Black Series Coupe, only available for 2012, it actually borrows technology, styling, and upgrades not only found in the Black Series, but also the SLS AMG. Not only to give it 507 horsepower, but to launch it into near supercar territory. As far as a little bit of background information, the latest generation C-Class in the United States was first introduced back in 2008 as a sedan only, while the C63 AMG sedan then followed. It, just like the BMW M3, is also based on the respective brand's small entry-level offering. Designed as a direct competitor to the BMW M3, it featured more muscle, larger displacement engine, and better straight-line performance. Standard C63s produce 451 or 481 horsepower with the optional development package and computer reconfiguration. This translates to 37 or 67 more horsepower than the M3, respectively. In either form, it boasted 443 pound-feet of torque, which represents 148 pound-feet of torque more than the M3. The M3 does best it in weight, though, around 400 pounds or so, but the Mercedes makes up for power, a lot of power. Its naturally aspirated 6.2-liter V8 could easily be classified as a German muscle car, but with AMG's thirst for performance, obviously that couldn't be enough. In a world of downsizing, both the C63 and SLS rocket on with variants of the 6.2-liter V8, known internally as the M156 for the C63 and M159 for the SLS. While the rest of the Mercedes lineup benefits from turbocharging and smaller displacement V8s for power and better fuel economy, it's still a treat to see one of these beauties as an all-new C-Class is set to debut for 2015. So what makes the Edition 507 different from its stablemate? First off, it's the dose of extra hardware from the SLS's M159 V8 that really makes the biggest difference, which includes forged connecting rods, lighter crankshaft, and forged pistons, similar upgrades that are also seen in the Black Series. There's also new engine remapping. All in all, the SLS components shave about 6.6 .6 pounds in weight, as well as make it more responsive and freer revving. The pistons and cylinder walls have also been strengthened to withstand higher compression ratios. In 2012, when the C63 Coupe debuted, it also benefited from a revised suspension with more negative camber at each wheel, as well as revised springs, shocks, and bushings. The Edition 507 also gets a further tuned suspension to be more responsive and taut through corners. Upgraded composite brakes with red brake calipers also round out the hardware upgrades. Visually, the Edition 507 is stunning, with key upgrades to give it a more menacing look. The headlights, grille surround, mirrors, and rear spoiler are finished in high-gloss black, while the headlamps are also blacked out. The unique graphics across the side and a special hood lifted from the Black Series feature dual heat extractors, also finished in black. Other than that, the AMG features unique body cladding to separate it from the standard car. From a single bar grille to an aggressive front fascia, larger air intakes, flared side skirts, and a large rear diffuser. The AMG definitely looks the part, all finished off with signature polished quad exhaust out back. The Edition 507 features a unique set of asymmetric 19-inch forged Y-spoke aluminum alloy wheels that also help reduce unsprung mass. The wheels can be finished in either titanium gray or matte black finish as you see here. All wrapped in high-performance Continental tires measuring 235-35 up front and 255-30 in the rear. Brakes consist of new composite braking system that features two-piece cross-drilled and ventilated discs measuring 14.2 inches at each corner with contrasting red AMG brake calipers, 6-piston in front and 4-piston in the rear. With this setup, the C63 Coupe stops from 60 miles an hour at around 112 feet. And while the composite brakes won't make a huge difference in stopping power, they do benefit greatly from better longevity and fade resistance in high-performance driving. The suspension is fully independent with confusion struts in front and a multi-link rear with coil springs. Now overall length is 185.3 inches with a width of 69.7 inches and a height of 54.6 inches. Total curb weight depending on how equipped is around 3,950 pounds. So let's go and pop the hood. As I mentioned earlier, the C63 AMG is powered by Mercedes hand-built all-aluminum M156 6.2 liter dual overhead cam 32 valve naturally aspirated V8. 
It displaces 6,208 cc's with port fuel injection, and in the Edition 507 produces 507 horsepower, 6,800 rpm, and 450 pound-feet of torque at 5,200 rpm. Thanks to its host of internal SLS-inspired upgrades, as I touched on earlier, it included new connecting rods, ladder crankshaft, and forged pistons. This translates to manufacturer claims 0 to 60 times of 4.1 seconds, 0.3 seconds quicker than the standard C63, and quarter mile times for the standard car around 12.1 seconds at 120 miles an hour, so you'd expect it to be just a tick faster. Top speed has been also up to 174 miles an hour from the standard 155. Not to mention a locking rear differential. As far as fuel economy, with a 17.4 gallon tank and required premium fuel, expect a miles per gallon rating between 13 city and 19 on the highway. The interior of the Edition 507 emulates everything that makes the C63 look and feel sporty by turning it up a notch. With exclusive leather and faux suede trim, the interior can be had in either black leather or two-tone black and off-white. As expected, build quality is excellent and the layout is pretty much identical to the standard C-Class. The door panels feature nice soft rid pattern coming across the sides, as well as optional carbon fiber trim. Standard edition 507s feature high gloss black piano veneer. All of your electric switches are located on the door, as well as your power seat adjustments and three person memory. Trunk release is located down below in the storage pocket. As far as the seating, the C63 features AMD specific sport leather bucket seats. Also with the rid pattern that carries across the doors to kind of emulate that overall theme throughout the vehicle. 4-way power lumbar adjustment is located down below, as well as a nice amount of side bolstering down below and up top to really keep your body hugged in there, especially going around the tight corners. Built-in side airbags with side curtain airbags, as well as AMG tags embedded in the back of the seats. The headrests are also electrically adjustable like I showed you via the switch on the door. Down below, unique AMG aluminum illuminated door sill plaques, as well as aluminum sport pedals. The steering wheel's full power tilt telescoping with the unique design like I showed you earlier, as well as a full padded dash, accented by plenty of satin chrome, as well as the carbon fiber across the right hand portion. Nicely finished off with a full panoramic sunroof. So let's get and see if she sounds. So we're going to shut her up. Beautiful solid doors. Now this C63 features the 450 watt Harman Kardon custom tailored audio system with Dolby Digital DTS certified 5.1 channel surround sound. It's all fed through the Mercedes command system, a 5.8 inch LCD multimedia navigation telemetrics interface, all controlled via the remote controller and the mounted in the center console. It's a wonderful sound and audio system with standard satellite radio as well as HD radio. Your side curtain airbags. Vanity mirrors with card holder off to the right. As well as an auto dimming mirror with your garage home link located down below. 
In the top stack you have your controls for your reading lamps as well as the rest of your interior illumination, hands-free Bluetooth microphone, as well as the controls for the Mercedes Embrace Emergency Roadside Assistance System, and controls for your fully automatic power sunroof and sunshade. Pull it back again to bring back the sunroof. A little wind deflector pops up and it slides over the rear glass. Nice wide glass roof gives a fantastic open appearance to the cabin. Now what's nice about the Mercedes command system is the fact that it's undergone some revisions in the past few years to make it much more user friendly and definitely comprehensive. Like I said, all of the main functions are controlled via this aluminum controller mounted in the center console. You have a clear button for deleting data as well as a back button, but everything else is to click up, down, left and right, push down for enter, and scrolling between the different menus. So for example right now we're in our audio screen. If you look closely, how it has the audio highlighted up top, if you click the wheel down, if you have something in the middle, you can highlight that option, or click all the way down to go to the bottom, and I'll show that in just a second. If we go over to navigation and push down, it brings up your full LCD display, also with real-time traffic updates. If you click the wheel down again, it brings up all the different menus again, including your destination input. Now, clicking the wheel through the menus, you select the top, then you can select the middle, and then select the bottom. If you select the middle, you can bring up the full screen again. But down at the bottom, you have your destination input. All pretty self-explanatory. Your position, traffic updates, as well as selecting points of interest on your route. If you go up and click nav again, it's all the navigation and route settings. Clicking back up again, if we go over down to audio, highlight audio again, it brings up all of the different media options from AM, FM, satellite radio, CD player, SD card input, it's also a hard drive so you can store up to 10 gigabytes of music storage, USB, iPod, auxiliary integration, as well as hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio. Another thing that's pretty cool about the radio if you go to FM or satellite radio, it looks like an old school radio tuner. Again, there's three different tiers to the menu. If you highlight the middle, you can scroll back and forth using the rotary knob. Down below, activate and store your presets, stations, song information as well as radio data, search and via specific category, Change in between the radio modes, including your weather band. Total to 43, which is five above normal. The yearly total since July 1st is 600. And in all the media screens, your sound adjustment is the bottom right, where your equalizer settings, as well as bounce and fade, and activation of your surround sound. You can also change the audio profile, have a bit of a boost, or just standard. Gives a little bit more of a punch. Your hands-free Bluetooth telephone up top, it'll automatically ask you to pair it. You can voice dial and store contacts. The system is also DVD compatible, so you can watch movies on the system, of course, when you're safely parked. System settings. In the middle, you can bring up a digitalized analog clock. Adjust your time. Vehicle settings, including activation of your rear view camera. And turning off the display if you didn't want it on. And if you look to the far right, the little world icon is the Mercedes Embrace 2 system, where you can access the internet, stream internet radio like Pandora, as well as load up apps and the real-time weather updates. Five day and extended forecast based on your location. Looking at your map. Very neat system. But all in all, those are all the basic features of the new command system in the 2014 Mercedes C63 AMG. And as we continue down the center console, the bright polished aluminum theme continues, highlighting many of the switch gear and buttons, as well as the air vents, high gloss carbon fiber trim, trailing the entire length of the dash. And right below the infotainment system, you have some manual buttons for activating the different menus between the command system if you actually didn't want to use the wheel itself. So like radio, navigation, telephone, it's all pretty self-explanatory there. Off and on hook buttons for your telephone, your in-dash CD changer, SD card input, as well as a number pad over here that you either use to um, dial your telephone out or store your preset radio stations. In the aluminum accented buttons down below, you have your traction control, as well as three-stage heated seats for both sides. 
Down towards the bottom is your electronic automatic dual zone climate control with temperature adjustments on either side. It also shows up in the command system whenever you make a change. Your max AC, one touch automatic, recycling, change the different zones down below here. Front and rear defrost, as well as fan speed. Lighter, ashtray and or power outlet. Black piano veneer center console. Two adjustable cup holders. And all the way towards the back is a leather lined center console. It splits in the middle and can be opened from both sides. There's a little bit of storage inside with your media input for your auxiliary iPod integration, as well as a USB input. As far as the steering wheel, off the right hand side is your radio, hands-free telephone controls, as well as voice commands. Help. This device cannot be voice operated. The following devices are voice controllable. Navigation, address book, telephone, radio, audio CD, audio DVD, or MP3. Cancel. Cancel. So it's a pretty simple system to use. You can look up the commands in the system, as well as your owner's manual. And while you can't use the Bluetooth system with it, like I said, pretty much every single other aspect of the system can be controlled through voice commands. Off to the far left of the steering wheel is your driver information system. This shows up in the little digital display in the middle of the speedometer. Right now we have a digital speedometer located. If we click left and right on the directional arrows to go between the different menus, like you would be able to see in the command system. Your navigation, audio, telephone, as well as the driver assist system for blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist, as well as the attention assist. If the vehicle can detect that you're getting drowsy or nodding off, it'll send a, sound an alert to make you to wake up. Service indicators, personalizable options, including your ambient interior illumination, as well as your AMG settings for different vehicle diagnostics, what you have the transmission program to, as well as controlling lap times with the integrated launch control system. And a nice, simple, well-laid-out speedometer cluster accented in aluminum rings with silver trim inside and red circles and accents. Overall, a nicely laid-out interior. We're going to shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. In order to access the back seat, there's aluminum handles on the sides of the seats. Just pull them forward. The headrest automatically folds down, and the seats electronically slide up. Climbing into the C-Class Coupe really isn't that different from your traditional coupe. Just fold the seat forward, it's electronically actuated like I mentioned earlier, so it just automatically slides forward. Once it's up, I'm just going to climb on in. Just go ahead and pull the seat back, it'll automatically come back, and since it's electronically actuated, it detects if it starts hitting your knees, and it'll go up slightly to give you a little bit more breathing room. Now being a smaller car, it is a little bit of a tighter back seat. I'm 5'11", and I probably have about an inch of usable leg space with a comfortable seating position for myself up front. As far as head space, my head is just barely touching the headliner right here. Taller individuals may just be a little bit tight. There is some cutouts right above your head right here to give you a little bit more wiggle room if you're just a little shorter. There's two cup holders down below here as well as a little storage tray. Backseat passengers get treated with the same amount of padded material and leather that you would find in the front. The back seats are actually designed kind of like bucket seats, so they hold you in pretty well. There's a little bit of lateral grip on each side and a little bit of lower lumbar support. So if you're my height or shorter, it's definitely not a bad ride to be able to sit back here for a little bit of a longer period of time. But like I said, taller individuals, six feet plus or so, might have a little bit of a cramped time. Like I said in the back, there's a little tray as well as a power outlet, two cup holders, and another large storage tray in the middle. Side curtain airbags for the rear, as well as coat hooks built into the headliner. And we'll go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? 
pop the easy access trunk of the C-63 and you'll find around 11.7 cubic feet of cargo space. It kind of extends side to side as well as a deep cargo well, with first aid kit located to the left as well as illumination off to the right. For more storage space you can also fold down the rear seat to load cargo all the way up to the front. The passenger seat also features the same power adjustments, including three-person memory, that you find on the driver's seat. In addition to four-way power lumbar. locking glove box, also nicely padded, and a two-tier glove box It also has a fresh air vent with the air conditioning system that'll pass cool air in here to keep items chilled. Also lined in velour. The latest C63 AMG is a great example of a traditional, naturally aspirated V8 with awesome power and even a more signature sound. With special packages like the Edition 507, it's sure to make a statement as the current gen is phased out of production. A fantastic car with great performance and overall refinement. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2014 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Edition 507. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.